And today comes a fresh announcement from Labour, a pledge to spend £58 billion helping the so-called WASPy women who've lost out due to increases in the state's pension age. Uh, Laura Pidcock, another day, another huge financial commitment, not, of course, in the manifesto. No. We don't know yet exactly how you're going to pay for it. Mm. An injustice, perhaps, but can we afford this? I mean, we can't afford not to redress uh, the wrong that was done to these women. Uh, I've spoken to many of them in the constituency that I wish to represent, and there's a sliding scale from people who see this as an injustice to those who have been rendered destitute actually by these changes and the, and the little notice or no notice that they had from the pension changes. And it's a very, you know, it's a very rational, very sensible thing to do to say to these women, you paid in all of your life, this was done to you, you had no notice, you having to re-enter the workplace uh, as an older woman. Um, some of, you know, one woman told me that she can't afford to get the bus, actually, to her employment, so she has to walk. They've cared for children for years, caring for elderly parents, and, uh, and, and this is about redressing that balance. You're making a compelling case, but if it's such a compelling case, why wasn't it in the manifesto? Why has it emerged today? I think... You know, th 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 we've always stood on the side of the 1950s women. Well, we had to. You we had put it in the manifesto. The, 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 the impression is that you suddenly thought of this as no, a way of no, trying to raise your poll no, ratings. No, no, no. Honestly, like we have been having conversations about this. I can I can tell you for for years now as a party about how we get this how we get this right. And this will come from borrowing. This is a pledge um, to those women. It will go some way to redress the wrong that ha happened to those women.